Hello and welcome to English coaching class. As you are already able to see the screen on the screen, I am able to show you students welcome to English coaching class. So just before going, before initiating today's lesson, just you can see on the screen below there is a button subscribe, bell and even thumbs up. So those who are watching my video when it will be uploaded okay so when those who are watching my video must subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up and just press the bell icon so you can regularly see my videos whenever i'll be uploading daily basis so it as it is an english class in a youtube you can see many channels are there those are teaching class 12 but english must be taught must be the medium of language must be English, not Hindi, not Odia or some other language. For self understanding, for one individual understanding, one must easily use a very simple words to make understand students. If you'll understand, if you'll listen English, if you'll understand English, then you can write English in a proper way. If you can't listen, have the, you don't have a patience to listen English, you can't uh, read it properly for a long time, then definitely students, you cannot write good English. What is essential for the examination for uh, CBC students? So listening in Hindi or Odia or any other language is not a bit, bit difficult. You can, anyone can listen, anyone can teach in any language. But English to English is important. If you're listening in English, it will help you. So just this is a small idea. This is a small thing what I want to share before going, before delivering the today's class. Before initiating, before taking to the today's class, just students in the last class, in my last video, I have given the introductory idea of the chapter. Introductory idea of the chapter, the chapter name is Rat Trap. And today I'll be giving the line-wise explanation, line-wise explanation that was summarizingly I have explained, I can say even not summarizingly at the end, I'll be doing the recapitulation summarizing. I'll be end of the completion of line wise explanation. I'll be doing, but the first we have done introduction, introduction of the chapter where I've shared theme, title, settings, background, and the message, what the chapter is giving characters and vocabulary. I have shared in my introductory video, but today we'll be going line wise explanation. Just before going for line wise explanation, few things I'll be asking students, be active and try to message me in the chat box or if required when I'll ask you to switch on your uh, audio you can turn on your audio and you can speak when I'll ask okay students so just have a patience I'll bring in the today's topic I'll bring in the chapter on your screen you can see and we can proceed so before going for that again I'll tell you I'll ask you to subscribe if you're a new user just press bell icon and just press thumbs up at the end Okay, if any suggestions, write it down and I'll help you out. Thank you. Just a second, I'm bringing with the page or the chapter on the screen. Just to teach students. Yeah. You can see on your screen students, there is a, a rat trap where a rat gets trapped into it. It's clearly visible on the top of your page. That is the heading, the rat trap. Over it, it has a picture clearly giving you a clear idea. It is talking about, the chapter is going to talk about the about a some rat trap. Okay, what is the trap trap? How it is humorous for it? How it looks to be very interesting? what the rat trap is okay this chapter students whenever I, I have been teaching to my students and they easily remember this chapter and this chapter from this chapter in the board exams most often in the pre-board and in the board exam long question comes okay long question comes and students uh, definitely if they are understood easily everything 
and you can write it down the long answers by your own. You don't need to mug up. English is not a mugging up things where you need to, mug, like a parrot, you'll just uh, uh, rot it down and in your brain and you'll vomit in the examination. But this is what of understanding. Once you understand, you are just done with your thing. Just a look, that is enough for your examination. No mug up. Just you understand what the chapter is all about. Okay. So this is a, the rat trap written by Selma Lagerlof. Okay, written by Selma Lagerlof. Yeah, students, I was talking about Selma Lagerlof, was a Swedish writer whose stories have been translated into many languages. Her period, when she was born in 1858 and died in 1940. A universal theme runs through all of them, a belief. I'm underlining it. You, if you have book, you can underline the students. This is the universal theme. A belief that essential goodness in a human being can be overcome through understanding and love. This is the what universal theme that in his writing she deals with. Essential goodness in a human being can awaken through understanding and love. Yesterday I told you in an introduction class, students, someone is doing something wrong. Someone is a robber doing the activity of stealing. Okay, so just try to make him out. Don't kill that man, the problem won't be solved. But to make him reform, to bring out that evil inside him, then the man can be a better human tomorrow. That changing or trying to punish him, it won't be a solution. So when we understand the man's problem, making him by understanding him or her, answering love. Love doesn't mean that the love that uh, we see that in movies, that is the only love. What we show, it is a love that's a kindness. Uh, we help others, it's a love. We see something good in others, it is love. So love is a big meaning. Okay, it has a big meaning. So I, yesterday I told you again in the introduction class, the love in the University of London, there's a, a word, ma master degrees or bachelor degrees available. So it is not a small one, a word, uh, that four letter words, it cannot be debatable. It is, it is a debatable topic. So I'm not going to describe or discuss on the term love. The story is set amidst the mines of Sweden, rich in iron ore, which figure large in the history and legends of that country. The story is told somewhat in the manner of fairy tale. Again, I am students, I'm just trying to connect to the chapter Ranga's marriage you have read in class 11. How the narrator was telling and you patiently listen to the chapter, you are enjoying it. Same way, the rat trap is giving the taste to us where you will be listening and going to enjoy the chapter very much. Okay, you are going to enjoy the chapter. Okay. So before going more in elaboration or details, here the few word meanings on your screen. Notice this expression in the text, infer the meaning for the context. Yesterday I have shared you the vocabulary. Okay, just little bit glimpse on it. Uh, vocabulary from the chapter, little bit glimpse on the, there's a, a few words on the screen or uh, vocabulary from the meaning from the context I'll be sharing you. Just look at it and mark it down. The first word, the key body and soul together. First word, key body and soul together. Okay. First word I'm talking about to manage to keep alive or to survive. Okay, with, to, you have to keep yourself for the survival. You are fighting hard for the survival. Next one, hunger gleamed in his eyes. Feeling so hungry that the expression shows on one's face. Suppose you are feeling so much hungry. Okay, you might have seen when you're eating chat or gupchup near the roadside. And the other boy, a girl standing there and asking like a beggar, asking a small boy and I'll ask him, come on, give me something. As if they're not eaten, the hunger seems in your, their eyes as if they hunger and what happened? You leave your plate and you give to them. And some of them so kind that they offer uh, uh, the price to the shopkeeper, come on, give them to eat. So what we can see that that expression we are able to notice that how, uh, what we can say, uh, they're feeling the hunger is in, inside them. Okay, the level of hunger, what we are talking about. Next expression is coming, plods along the road. Okay, moving along the road, 
slowly but deliberately okay moving along the road slowly but deliberately see you might have seen uh, <clears throat> when you're not interested to do something when you're not interested to do something but you forcefully do it okay you forcefully do it what happened you slowly slowly are just you agitate to do that and uh, that uh, what you become you, if, even if you're active you don't show your activeness in that part okay similarly moving along the road slowly but deliberately to walk without heavy feet to walk without a walk with a heavy feet means you're very much tired as if you're not able to walk with a heavy feet okay the next one is unwanted joy okay unusual joy unusual joy okay or happiness or pleasure next impenetrable prison in penetrable prison what impassable confinement what happened impassable confinement for continuous period the the, the confinement cannot be passed it can, he cannot be come out from the jail so it's a there umar kaid what we talk about okay next one nodded a haughty consent haughty consent okay so what is this haughty consent in diff, in different agreement in different agreement so it is a nodded nodded a haughty consent sorry eased his way eased his way next one moved himself slowly and carefully okay moved himself slowly and carefully eased his way next one fallen into a line of thought fallen into a line of thought what happened agreement of thoughts the agreement of there is a agreement of thoughts what happened i told you in the last class again in introductory class uh, what happened you are sitting inside the class and suddenly you are you have you have paid attention to the teacher but suddenly you start smiling so something came in your mind and you start smiling what happened the different thought came in your mind and i uh, present in the class but uh, physically present mentally absent what okay so what happened that expression you start smiling what happened okay a fallen into a line of thought a different thought came in your mind okay agreement of thoughts different different thoughts are coming next one things have uh, things have gone downhill to decline or grow oars or oars okay so what happened last one things have gone down the things becomes bad day by day it's not in your favor so these are the expression in your text we have discussed come on come to the line so the text opens here first stanza once upon a time there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of wire underline it a man who went around selling small rat trap of wire okay the man what was man selling here man was selling the rat trap of wire so here uh, once upon a time there was a man who went for around selling a small rat trap of wire i'm repeating it the why i'm repeating to enhance to give the more focus what was man doing what was he doing selling a just the same picture okay the the rat trap is made up of wire so what was he doing he was moving he was selling all around in the city everywhere and selling small rat trap of wire the rat trap is made up of wire okay got it clear students he made them himself at odd moments so how how he is doing he is working on it and he is making at odd moment moments okay so uh, from the material he got by begging from where he is making from the material just again i am underlining it here from the material he got it from begging and in the stores or at the big farms so what he is doing or at the big farms he is begging so uh, in the lines introductory part i have shared you how his character is coming as a beggar also so what he is doing is begging the material from the stores or at big farms okay got it how do he collect his uh, material from the stores by begging or big farms but even so the business was not specially profitable especially profitable so even he, he why he, go, he have to do begging because the business what he was working was not sufficient he was not able to get profit 
So he had, he has to resort both begging and pity theory to keep body and soul together. So he was doing both the act. What was he doing? Both begging and pity theory means act of stealing. He was doing that to keep body and soul together means uh, see when your stomach is empty, you cannot focus on study. When your stomach is empty, you cannot sleep. Okay, you can manage for hour or two, but you cannot continue for longer days. Okay, so similarly, so he, for this, for his survival, he have to do begging and pity theory. Got it clear even students? Even so, his clothes were in rags. Even though, what was, what was his condition? The dress, see, what was he doing? The very opening lines is talking about what is he doing? He's doing the, he's selling the small rag of wear. From where is bringing these materials? From the stores and big farms. And his business, how is it? It's not profitable. So what he is doing for that? Both begging and pity theory to keep body and soul together because both should be together. Then only the life will be peaceful. Even so, his clothes were, what was his condition? His clothes were rag, totally dirty. Okay, so in his cheeks were sunken. If you won't eat, your cheeks will be sunken, lean and thin. And hunger gleamed in his eyes. His face was showing that he's hunger. He has from the long days, he has not eaten. I hope so, students, you're able to understand the first stanza. If there's any doubt, write it down quickly in the chat box. If no doubt, write it down. Yes, I can understand that you have understood. Yes, students, come on. You can write it down to me. If you have any doubt, okay. So you can write it down to me. If you have any doubt, if no doubt, write it down. Yes, I can understand all are active and you're listening to me. Yes, yes, I can see all can write it down. Yes, very good. That's, that's good. That's good. So that I want. If you're active, just... I hope you, the first paragraph is clear to you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Someone is writing. I cannot. Uh, I can understand, sir. Very good. Very good. Yeah. That's good. So come to the next paragraph. Next paragraph. No one can imagine how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond. Okay. I told you. Vagabond, rat trap seller, or uh, the other term I have used is uh, what? Vagabond means, I, I have told you in a clear statement of Odia term what I have used it. We say Bulagukura. They don't have a proper destination to stay. They move here and there. Vagabond. Tram. Okay. And uh, what we can say another one, his name is Peddler. He's a peddler. Okay. Ratcraft seller. Different names for him. Who plods along the road. Who walks on a road. Left to his own meditation. See, when you don't have any work, you move in your own thoughts, own world. Okay. And but one day his man had fallen into a line of thought. Underline it. One day this man, one day this man had fallen into a line of thought. How was the thought? Okay. One day this man had fallen into a line of thought which really seemed him entertaining. Okay. So one day what, what did he fall into? A line of a certain thought came into his mind and how was the thought entertaining i told you you sometimes think something and you start smiling okay similarly the thought came to his mind and he started enjoying it see when you enjoy you can live your life if you won't enjoy then you can't live your life so similarly this man is state of poor poverty sticking now what in a no like a begging condition still he's trying to make himself positivity he's enjoying what is doing in his enjoyment let's see he had naturally been thinking uh, of his rat traps when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world about him. See students, for example, I'll say you, if, if you're sad or if you've seen a uh, uh, tiger or some uh, lion movie or some uh, ghost movie, when you go to sleep, those things come in your dream. Okay, suppose sometimes sitting on your uh, clear sky on the top of the roof, when you look to the sky, the vision comes in your eye that the image of an uh, animal or someone else you're thinking, that image is front, uh, framed in, in front of your eye. Okay, whatever is there in your mind, what you do, same kind of thought uh, will be coming to your mind because it is there in your subconscious mind. When you are thinking that subconscious mind is, is able to 
capture the present mind. Okay, similarly, this man profession is what? To sell rat trap. Okay, to sell rat trap. So what happened? The He had naturally been thinking of his rat traps. So how to, to do it, sell these rat traps? How, I mean, he's thinking about the rat traps. When suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world, the whole world, okay, world about him. As he started, uh, he's a man who is selling rat traps. So he started comparing with the rat trap. The, ho the whole world with his lands and seas its cities and villages was nothing big rat trap. Okay, underline his, underline this sentence, underline this sentence here. Okay, what he's thinking, what he's comparing, uh, the whole world, its land and seas, cities, village was nothing a big rat trap. So what is comparing with the rat trap? The world, the whole world, its land, in the whole world, what are the things? Lands, seas, okay, cities, and villages was nothing a big rat trap okay and it had never existed for any other purpose than to set baits so these are the thing that sets bait for the people okay it offer reach and joy shelter what are the beds here here are the beds are reaches joy shelter food heat clothing exactly as a rat trap of a cheese and pork as soon as anyone let himself tempted to be touched at the bait, it, uh, it closed on him and then everything come, came to an end. Okay, so students here, just as the bait is offered inside the rat trap, that is cheese, pork or other food, we offer inside the rat, rat trap, rat, rat get attracting that, when they come inside the, to eat the food, they are trapped inside the rat trap. Similarly, the, for the people, for us, what is that? Land, sea, cities and villages are big rat trap. And what is compared as a bait here? Uh, reaches, joys, we want to be rich, we want to be happy, we want a house, we want food, we want uh, what? We want to be safe from heat. We want clothing. So these are the things uh, compared with cheese and pork. Cheese and pork is treated as what? Bait. Bait is offered inside the rat trap. So these are things treated as what? Bait for us. Okay, students. I hope you understood the, this paragraph where the comparison of rat trap have been done. Okay, where the comparison of rat trap have been done i hope you are able to understand yes write it down i can see yes whether you have understood or not come on uh, write it down here on the screen i can see uh, in the chat box i can see whether you have understood or not if yes 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 you right to mention it yes very good very good yes if if you're not able to understand uh, just mention the issue which line you are facing okay yes very good very good <laughs> come to the next one <laughs> Come to the next one. The world had, of course, never been kind to him. Okay, we say no. When we face any problem, why I am always the sufferer? Why I am always getting less marks? Why I am always scolded? Why I am in this situation? So we think, okay, similarly, the world ha had, of course, never been kind to him. The narrator, the writer is saying that the world is never kind to him. Him refers to the peddler, rack rap seller, vagabond, Tram is referring to that one. So it gave him unwanted joy, an unusual joy, unusual pleasure. Sorry. An uh, unwanted joy to think what was, uh, just underline this sentence. Okay. Underline this sentence here. What is saying? The world has uh, had, of course, never been kind to him. So it gave him unwanted joy unusual joy and a, a different kind of pleasure it he was getting to think ill what is ill of it in this way in this way means the comparison of world uh, with rat trap and the offerings we get in this world is compared to the bed in this way he was thinking this is a ill thinking he is knowing that but this kind of thinking when he thinks he is getting a pleasure different pleasure Okay, when you enjoy some, do you pull someone's legs and you think, wow, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so similarly, this man was enjoying that by doing that. What was he doing more? It become a, become a cherished 
past time of his during many dairy uh, ploddings. Okay, dairy ploddings means when what happened is no time, no work, no business, nothing. All alone in the room, uh, road, he has to work slow and steadily. Where there is a danger, alarming uh, for him, and no one is there. And when he thinks, he's seeing a people, and this thought is coming to his mind. What? To think of people he knew, to whom he knew, would let themselves be caught in dangerous snare of others who were still circling around the bed. So, what happened? So he is able to see that the people he is he is able to know they are coming in the danger snare. Means in the danger snare means the same trap of rat trap as the rat comes in for the bed and is in a trap. Those are already in the world uh, in a circle of a rat trap. Those people are already inside it, or those those are near the circle going to go, get inside the rat trap. Means uh, uh, out means in outside the. Bed. They are near the bed and they are going inside the rat trap. Seeing these kind of people, some want the, some want some food, some want some shelter, some want some uh, what luxurious thing. For that reason, they commit some mistakes. Seeing the people, he understand this man is going towards the rat trap, or he is already in the trap of uh, rat trap. Okay, so I hope so you are able to understand this line, students. Okay, I hope you are able to understand this lines here. Come to the next line here. <coughs> Come next uh, next paragraph. One dark evening, one dark evening. Yeah, what is the meaning of bet? I told you B A I T. Yeah, bet I told you, you no. Know, inside the rat trap, inside the B A I T bed, inside the rat trap, when food have been offered to the rat. Okay, they, you keep food and rat get attracts and they cup inside the what? Uh, that at, uh, where the rat gets capped means caught by that. Uh, well like structure and they are, they are attracted by the food so that is the bait the food offered inside the rat trap is a bait okay so clear as students <coughs> uh, meaning of plotting uh, moving uh, without any destination moving in a road with, uh, without any, any distance become became becoming what weak and all okay without any destination weak and uh, you don't have any destination if you have any destination to go you can go directly to your home if you don't have any destination without anything, you, you move here and there in the road. Okay, plod slowly, slowly walk on the road. Okay, so plod without any destination, with tension, one, one, when one start walking in a road. Okay, <clears throat> so now come to the next one. One dark evening, as he was treading along the road, he caught sight of a little gray cottage. Okay, so just to mark it down, we are at the very first phase of the uh, part of the what we can say uh, the pro protagonist we can say uh, right now I cannot say this peddler vagabond tramp as a hero but later on we can tell him we can declare him as a hero okay but uh, as a pro protagonist the main character uh, that is the uh, peddler the vagabond tramp okay so we are able to understand his activities what he is doing uh, what how he is uh, doing his time pass how he is able to enjoy his time. So we have understood till now here. So what happened? One dark evening as he was strutting along the road, means he was walking along the road, in the road, on sorry, on the road, he caught sight of a little gray cottage. Okay, so when you walk on the road and you are able to see the different house on the both the sides of the road. Okay, so little gray cottage by the roadside. So he is able to see the little gray cottage. And he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night. I told you, vagabond tramp. There's no destination, no home. They stay there a night outside, wherever they get time and they stay. Okay. So, what happened here? Nor was he refused. So, what happened? So, he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night. Who knocked the door? Peddler, vagabond. He knocked the door. Nor he refused. Nor he refused means the own owner or host who welcomed this peddler to his house. He did not refuse. No, he cannot stay. For example, I'll be telling. Suppose uh, anyone at nine o'clock at your door, they'll come and they'll uh, just uh, switch. Or means they'll click the calling bell of your door, and the calling bell will ring. And when you'll open the door. 
someone will ask for water you can offer water someone will ask for food you can offer for food if someone will ask for shelter are you going to offer anyone just you can answer me in a chat box anyone if someone at the night one will offer you water you will give one will offer uh, one will ask you for uh, food you can give but when someone will ask for shelter at your nine o'clock at your home for in your home uh, and are you going to give him shelter please answer me students yes or no please answer me yeah no no yeah that's correct 99 percent people will give no tell no 99.9 percent .9 people will say no one is going to give shelter to anyone at night time especially nine o'clock or onwards okay no one you can give food you can give everything see one condition one condition without knowing we could not give shelter that's correct when we don't know anyone we cannot give shelter to anyone okay hotel people will give yeah we are hotel people better paisa chahiye and without money no no hotel nothing i am asking a personal to your house okay when in your house someone is coming that time not we are not talking about hotel so here what happened so this man is coming what a vagabond is just knocking the door and a man is opening and he's asking is allowing him to stay what happened he met the owner okay so he did not know he was he refused he was not refused he was he did not say chale jao yahan se get out get lost from here but he was uh, instead of sour face which ordinarily met him on a regular basis what happened mm, anger face used to come up rejection was used to come up not a no you're not allowed the owner used to say but this time the owner did not say that there is no negativity owner welcome him come on you can get in who, who was an old man without wife or child see students i'm just mentioning the term here without wife or child was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness okay when you are all alone in your home you don't have anyone in your home you need a companion you need a friend to talk if you are bored you need a companion similarly the here the fact has been given the information has been said man without wife or child there was no wife or right now or child in his home due to his he did not allow see when in the examination short question come some students write wife died or child left the home so many uh, reasons shared so student don't declare the answer in that way in that way i am informing here when the question will be asked why did the crofter allowed students uh you have i hope you have enjoyed the my part one video and uh, i am ending my part one video with a question mark okay and same i'll be continuing in the part two so just students if you're new user new a uh, new subscriber new viewer to my channel just don't forget to subscribe uh the bell icon given in the below and just do subscribe the uh, <coughs> uh the, the thumbs up button do uh, press the thumbs up the like video and just press the ding dong the bell icon and where you can get the regular updates so this is the end of the part one class and end of the first class of the line noise explanation next class you will be catching me tomorrow or next video of part two okay students thank you take care bye bye sign out sign off for today's thank you and have patience and keep sharing my video part 1 part 2 part 3 and in fourth parts i'll be coming up and just do share the videos students can enjoy the line wise explanation definitely i am giving focusing in every words every line so everyone can understand that this explanation this explanation i'm not teaching in hindi it is english you must listen understand in english then only you can express in your words in english So students just remember english class you must attend in english not in hindi or odia any other language telugu tamil or anything you must attend in english that then only you can be helpful for a successful class so i am a uh, teacher of from english coaching class thank you students bye bye